name is Lauren Powers with Microsite and welcome to this episode of The Consult. I am more than thrilled to have this lady on our set today. Dr. Heavenly Kimes of Atlanta, Georgia is an award-winning, best-selling author, four-time author. She's a motivational speaker, has been a dental practice owner for over 20 years, a mentor to other dentists with her university, She's also a very proud wife and mother of three, and I think a couple of dogs too. All in all, we have a renaissance woman with us today. Welcome, Dr. Heavenly. Hey, Lauren. How are you? I am doing fantastic. I am so glad that you are here. How are you I'm feeling? I'm glad to be here. Listen, I feel amazing. Thank you for having me. Thank you for thinking of me. Yes. I mean, what we're going to talk about today is your specialty, that cosmetic dentistry. You give people smiles of their dreams, a heavenly smile, right? Absolutely. With that heavenly touch. Um, I want to know. You been a dentist for a long time. What got you into dentistry? Well, initially my major was pre-med. I went to school. My mom told me for years and years that I was going to be a doctor. I just didn't know what type, but I was always artistic. And if you know anything about dentistry, it's, a, it's art. an art as well as a science. Absolutely. And I was really good at it. So in dental school, I actually, uh, shadowed another dentist mm -hmm. and I was like wow I can do this because I can set my own hours I can be off for Thanksgiving yeah. and Christmas not being on call like a physician would be and I always wanted to be a wife and mother but I wanted to be a doctor as well so that kind of encapsulated all of that in one and you're a very well known yeah. doctor yeah. might I add um, I never I did not share that you are on a very famous show that a lot of people know married to medicine arguably the most famous doctor in the country or in the universe as we talked about earlier. Um, and so tell me, now that you've, you've been doing dentistry for 20 years, what's the favorite part of dentistry for you? You know what? It changes a whole person's whole outlook on life. I mean, it changes their personality. If you meet somebody that was that little girl that never had that beautiful smile mm -hmm. and you give it to her, oh my God, the confidence is bubbling over. And that's the beauty of being a dentist. And that's why I chose that profession. Obviously the smile transformations, that, mm -hmm. that's what we're here to discuss because as you know, you know, there's a lot of people out here in the world that are missing teeth, mm -hmm. uh, that may not have the means to, to get the permanent tooth replacement or don't even know kind of where to start. And you offer those solutions in your practice in Atlanta where people who are missing teeth can get the permanent solutions. Now, what is your favorite, uh, I guess, surgical procedure for permanent tooth replacement? Um, my favorite surgical pr uh, procedure probably is an implant. Mm -hmm. The reason I choose implant plants is because you don't have to touch the adjacent tooth. So you're not, we learn in dental school, you want to always pre preserve Pre tooth, teeth to teeth, tooth right? You don't right. want to pull them out. So uh, if we could do that and place an implant and the implants now are amazing. When I first started doing them, it was hit or miss. Mm -hmm. Now it's cookie cutter. Uh, we have um, about a 98%, 99% retention rate. A you success. Know? A yes. success, yes. And um, it's just amazing. We're able to replace a tooth in little to no time and replace it with a crown and you never know it was missing. So I think a lot of people may be a little bit concerned or, or fearful of this type of dental surgery, uh, which is probably why they've gone so long without having uh, their teeth replaced. So what processes, I guess, in your office do you provide to make a patient comfortable um, and hopefully as pain-free as possible mm -hmm. during the transformation? Yeah, you know, at Smile But Not the Heavenly, we cater to cowards. We always say that. <laughs> cater to cowards. Because we actually have anesthesiologists on staff, so we can put you completely under if you're needed. Mm -hmm. You know, if you need that service. Uh, also, we offer nitrous oxide. We actually give Valium, but we actually make sure our patients are very comfortable. Mm -hmm. When we're doing a big surgical procedure, we actually time the anesthesia so we can give you something for pain while we're doing the procedure. So you come out with minimal discomfort. So are patients getting their teeth replaced in one day or are you like a multi-phase? What's your, what's your approach for that? It actually depends. It depends on the spe specific patient. Sure. Some of the patients are not eligible for teeth the same day based on their economics, meaning how much money they have or their, their, uh, some people who are diabetic or uh, they smoke mm -hmm. or different different things, we actually take case by case. But, but the people that are, they can get a smile on the same day. When I say same day, we do have to come in, take measurements, take impressions. Sure. But at the end of the surgery, you leave the office with a full smile. So a patient could literally come into your office with a denture or absolutely no teeth. Yes. And they can leave with everything just good to go. They can eat. 
Absolutely. Can we bite some steak, bite an apple? Uh, when we first put your implants in, we like them to integrate. <laughs> so we're going to tell you a soft diet for a certain amount okay, of time. Okay, so talk to me about the integrate, integration. Mm -hmm. what, okay. is, what does that mean? Integrate. When we place an implant, can I use your model? Use yeah. the model. Listen, when we place an implant, we actually use a titanium screw that goes in the bone, right? Yep. When we actually place that implant and we slowly put it in with saline water, right? A saline solution. It actually integrates in the bone where that blood and that and yeah. the bone kind of integrates into the implant. And if you get a fully integrated implant, usually it's stable the first day, but if you give it three months, it's actually more stable than your natural dentition. So it takes about three months, you would say, for three the implant four months, to depending heal. on your yeah. But they leave your office though. Absolutely. You know, we're not having gaps and you know all None that, of that stuff. Leaving with a beautiful smile. Yes. So what is that experience like for a patient when they've been going through this struggle or it's been years to get to you? You know, because mm -hmm. I know that is it's not an overnight decision because mm -hmm. I know it, there are finances involved. Mm -hmm. What is that like when they finally see their face? You know, uh, the very first look when you do something that amazing for someone, it actually gives them a new reason for living. I mean, it changes their whole yeah. life, their outlook, their confidence level. You know, the young girls, they say, oh, I'm going to college now. I'm starting my own business. I mean, the the, the experience makes them Think, think larger, think differently, think bigger. Mm -hmm. Like when they get their smile together, and when you see somebody smile that has not been the best, yeah, they um come not the in, smile they want. The people don't know? even know what they did. They just say, "Oh my God, you look beautiful." What did you do? Sometimes mm -hmm. they don't even know what's the smile, but it changes your whole outlook on life. I mean, you can find that love. I always tell them, "I'm gonna get you a man," because you know I do relationship. I know, relationship coach too, <laughs> right? So once you get that smile, that's all you need. It's a beautiful smile. Everything else comes with it. Do you cry with them? When I do. I do. I mean, teary. we get a lot of people that come in because it's emotional. It's an investment. It's a life changer. And it's, it's really emotional, especially when you have some stories. And I've heard a lot of stories, mm -hmm. you know, and some of them just. They change. It, they're they're it, wild. It chokes me up right now. I actually wanted to um, uh, talk about a patient of yours that okay. it, w it was very public mm -hmm. um, that it struck my heart mm -hmm. uh, because of the the outpour of love that you showed to this particular patient and we'll make sure we're going to have that up on the screen in a moment but talk to us about a young lady that you you did a smile transformation and I believe she was had some abuse or mm -hmm. there was something going on talk to us about her uh, remember when uh, George Floyd got killed mm -hmm. during the time right before the pandemic uh, and there was a lot of uh, people going out protesting violence right and, protests, yeah. and you know I do a YouTube show called heaven help us and I continue to do that show but I told the people I said listen I can't go out there and protest with you right <laughs> but what I can do is if somebody gets hurt I will extend my dental ser services oh, wow. and lo and behold somebody saw that YouTube video right mm -hmm. there was a young girl in the uh, city of Chicago I believe it was and she was out protesting mm -hmm. and a police officer hit her in the mouth cracked her front tooth I remember I, that image um, and I know we have it up on the screen that image is still in my mind yeah. of how shattered her mouth wasn't she so young yeah she was young and she was just getting into college <sighs> and her tooth was broken right mm. so when i saw it the people got at me they dm me her picture and i was like oh my god let me fly her in and take a look and see what we could do and she also had a diastema there and i was like you know what girl uh, let's do a she complete, needed you let's do a complete makeover i mean you've been through so much we didn't just fix that one tooth we actually gave her a a complete makeover and she and as you can see with the results i mean just beautiful beautiful job i want to know what was that moment like for her it was amazing yeah um, she was like man she didn't know what she was going to do you know mm. she didn't know what she was gonna do she's missing a tooth at a young child you know we don't have the money we're going to college she's yep. getting ready to start her whole life and then something like that happens when she was out there protesting for a very good cause. I believe, she believed in. Right. Something she believed in. Yeah. And it happened. And I that was the only way I could help. You know, I wasn't out there protesting, but that was the way I could give back to the cause. I just, I love seeing that part of you because uh, we know we've got this celebrity and, and all of that good stuff. But but you care. Yeah. And, and there's a lot of doctors out there that I don't think show the level of compassion and care that you do. Well, you know, I've been blessed. We have to give all glory to God. I've been Amen. blessed so many many times that I have to give back. It's actually an obligation. I don't have a choice mm -hmm. but to give back. So when I see things like that, I, I it just touches my heart, you know? And I do remember that you've done some um, holiday type of giveaways mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. past mm -hmm. where you've just extended your services Absolutely. to those that needed a full makeover. So I, that, that, I just remember that story sticking out in my mind. Have there been any other uh, 
big transformations that you can remember that just stand out? Like, what was the patient going through? Were they could they eat? You know, were they smiling in photos? Absolutely. Um, there has been so many, but one in particular that comes to my mind, and I don't want to get dark because I'll start <laughs> crying, right? That's okay. But there was okay. one particular lady that was a victim of domestic violence. Mm, you know, okay. and a lot of times when people grow up, she had a situation where her dad was uh, in jail. Her mother was on drugs, so she didn't know any better, you know, for better hygiene of her teeth. So she had extensive decay. Yeah. She had malaligned teeth. Um, a lot of them were mobile, periodontal disease, you know, mm. 40 years old, but she wanted to start her own business. She wanted to start a cleaning service and she said she just didn't have the confidence to do it. And when she smiled, she would put her hand over her mouth, right? It's funny how you, and you naturally are, you lower your lips mm -hmm. or you, you know, you just give yourself a low smile line because you don't smile. And wow. they figure out how to smile without how smiling. To cover it. How, mm -hmm. Without smiling. If you look at her Instagram page, she would always smile like that. And now what's her Instagram? <laughs> uh, it's like that. But it's, it's, it's very emotional and it, it touches my heart because um, I came from, you know, a, a, a humble beginning, you right, know, and, yes. and, you know, God has blessed us so much that sometimes we just have to look back and say it's an investment. But sometimes you just got to lend a hand and help somebody out. Is that what the heavenly touch really is? Like, that, what is that heavenly touch? The heavenly touch is a beautiful smile. We uh, we do our best. At, I do the best at everything I do. Reality TV, books, <laughs> everything. But I do my best at your smile. And I think we give a great result. I want you to kind of maybe walk me through a little bit of the technology that you use. Absolutely. Because there are some out here trying to do this and they don't have the cone beams or they may not have some of this newer, faster technology, which makes it, you know, mm -hmm. accurate and efficient. Mm -hmm. What's the technology like in your practice? Well, the interesting thing is when people do implants, they really do need a cone beam. They really need a CBCT scanner because that's the state-of-the-art way of doing it. Basically, when we got our cone beam, you know, and it costs hundreds of thousands, so a lot of dentists don't have it. Or sometimes they'll refer you out to office to get, to that, get the scan. that scan, right? So we have it in the office. We're able to look at it. And when we place the implant, we're able to look at it right away to make sure it's angled properly, to mm -hmm. make sure it's integrated properly. And you can see that at the time of the surgery, which is a definite benefit during the surgery. And it helps you get that exact Absolutely. fit, that precise Absolutely. fit. And they could get their teeth and leave that same Okay. Yeah, there are there are landmarks in your mouth that you you want to miss. I mean, your sinuses, your mental mm -hmm. frame, and that kind of stuff that you want to see, and you want to see three D version of it to make Absolutely. sure that you're you know you place the imprint properly, and we're able to do that. It's smiles by Doctor Heavenly because we have the state of the art equipment. So if somebody doesn't need a full mouth reconstruction or a full makeover, what are your solutions for just? a missing tooth, you know, to make sure everything matches and the bite is correct. Is mm -hmm. that still a single implant or a bridge? It depends. Again, it depends on the actual uh, patient. Sometimes there's caries on the adjacent teeth. That means it's decay on the adjacent teeth at some point. And if they don't have enough bone, some people are not a good candidate for implants because they don't have enough bone. Now we can replace the bone, but sometimes it takes nine months to a year to, to get that bone. To get yeah. Grown. To really get it uh, with the density that we need for an implant. So some people choose choose to do bridge work. Bridge okay. work, when we prepare the adjacent teeth, yeah, yeah, you got something like that here. Yeah. We prepare <laughs> the adjacent teeth here, and then we put what we call a pontic, an artificial tooth in the middle, but it actually comes out looking, looking just like very, that. very uh, natural, mm -hmm. but you know, but you can't floss, you have to go under with super floss. So we always say it's best not to touch the uh, adjacent dentition, but sometimes if you already have the cavities there. You have the decay there already, and we had to remove it anyway. And you don't have the bone yeah. necessary because a tooth was recently extracted or, Absolutely. you know, it was a periodontal disease or whatever. We're able to do bridge work. Why do people seek you out? Why do people go to Smiles by Dr. Heavenly? Um, I think that people go to Smiles by Dr. Heavenly because she actually really cares. I mean, she, they come in, they can see on my Instagram, which I have millions a of lot viewers. Before and after right, you can and see the and, the and the work speaks for itself. It's no question. That's why they fly in from all over the United States and the world mm -hmm. to come see Dr. Heavenly because you can see the work. So a patient will actually see you. Absolutely. I've been through that an road associate. before. I've been down that road before. I had nine dental prices. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. But at this point, in my life I just love the art of dentistry and I want to take care of it and I want to do it myself so well with that as well there's other things in dentistry that we haven't spoken about mm -hmm. because when it comes to the cosmetic world there are things more than implants right so what's your other favorite side of the cosmetic we dentistry? love veneers okay we love veneers and there's there's contraindications for those as well okay. but the veneers are the 
the Mercedes, the Maybach of everything that, <laughs> that you, you know want. about. Right, you know right, about <laughs> right. So, um, you uh, with it with the veneer is minimal tooth reduction, right? Okay. And we cover just like a cabinet, a veneer on a cabinet. We cover the front of the tooth for the color, for the shape, to make it look good, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But sometimes you're not a good candidate for veneers if you have extensive decay and or you have alignment that we can't really correct with a veneer. So then we talk about cosmetic crowns, where we do a tin powder layer build up. My a lab does it and we have a great uh relationship oh, yeah. that we're able to get that cosmetic crown with the incisal edge translucent we really put a lot into our crowns so for a veneer or a crown a patient is likely coming to you are they coming to you because they can't eat just because they can't like their smile are they in pain like is their transformation the same they are just really sticklers about beautiful teeth they just, they want, just, their want, teeth. Their, they just want those pretty pretty teeth they just want some pretty and teeth. i specialize in natural looking teeth now those big white teeth i don't that's do the those. atlanta look I I, no, it's look. no it's not no it's not no it's not no it's not <laughs> so it's not best that's white that's straight, in miami <laughs> the big white straight across right no. so you make them look natural mm-hmm. the chiclets we don't do <laughs> we make them look natural they're supposed to be the color of your eyes And we're going to put a couple of cases up for you because you've had some big uh, smile makeovers. Is there any uh, veneer case that stands out in your mind? Absolutely. Absolutely. I've done, um, I don't know if I can say the name, but I've done a lot of celebrities. I won't say the names, but I've done a lot of celebrities. When you're looking at a smile, you're looking at my work. (laughs) It was in Atlanta or around? Absolutely. Atlanta and elsewhere. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So I've, I've talked about now. I mean, I, but you can look at my page. Some of them smiling on my page, but I don't really say, you know, yeah. what I've done. Yes, mm-hmm. and yes, definitely check out our, her Instagram at Dr. Heavenly on, on Instagram. Smile about Dr. Heavenly, yes. Yes, mm-hmm. and I, I wanted to ask now, we talked about the permanent solutions, mm-hmm. right? Implants are your jam. Mm-hmm. We love implants, the full mouth. Mm-hmm. Veneers are also an option or crowns for a beautiful smile. Now, how do you feel about removable options like a denture or a cemented bridge or things like that? There's definitely a place for removable uh, teeth. Mm -hmm. Uh, It could be that they don't have the tooth structure or the the bone structure for implants at that time. They don't have the bones or they don't have the money. You know, sometimes that's a a natural transition into an implant or something. We actually do removable dentures. We do partials as well. You do you try to educate them to try to get them absolutely, into the implant? Absolutely. I always try to get them the best, mm-hmm. right? So sometimes they cannot. I start out with the treatment plan with the best. Sure. But if they say, hey, you know what? That's not in my budget right now. Um, but I'd love to do that. But until then, is there another option? Absolutely. We have what we call dentures. Now, the interesting thing is dentures. We do uh, we do the steps. Where we actually take the impression. We do the custom trays. We do the bite. We do the try-ins. But dentures are a great solution if you cannot get the implants. Yeah. Because some people just can't wear dentures. Some people, they slips and moves. You know, you don't want to bite into an apple. You yeah. Know I mean? So yeah. that's why we created the hybrid, which we call the all on X. I call it the smile. A heavenly the, smile the heavenly in the day. Right. In the day or we, all on X, all on four. Absolutely. Yeah. And with the denture, if you can just get the denture, sometimes we start with that. Mm-hmm. And you know, we'll put this price towards your implants when you get ready for your hybrid. We'll sure. put that price towards that. But basically, so we place uh, four to six implants per arch and we're able to do a hybrid between a denture and a bridge that comes out really, really beautiful. And it's fixed. It doesn't it's fix it. You, does so you can get some, you can upgrade someone over time. Upgrade your smile. From that denture into the permanent solution. Absolutely. Now, outside of the hybrid, what we can do is individual. Oh, now that's a, now you're talking about a bunch of different individual different implants, implants. And that's what some people require. Now you think about an uh Heavenly Smiling Day when we're placing four implants at the top or the bottom, right? Sure. And you see the economics behind it. Can I say prices? We, I mean, I? sure. Go th- tell the people what sure. it is. The price okay. ain't going to change. Tell right, right. It is. So you're looking at an implant, and you know a lot of people will market their implants as a thousand uh, ninety nine, but they're not giving you the implant, the abutment, the, and the, the crown, full the full story. Bone, grab. So story. I try to the nickel and dime people. An implant is going to be about sixty five hundred dollars around that, right? Start to finish. Start to finish mm-hmm. with your bone extraction, everything, right? Sure. So uh, with the all on fours, if you do four, right, mm-hmm. and you're doing the bone and you're doing the hybrid, it, it comes out to about thirty, thirty-two thousand. Okay. Right. But if you do individual teeth, right, you mm-hmm. do individual crowns. You know those individual that's the, that's crowns. The are, Cadillac. That's Cadillac. That the, is that's the, the Mac Daddy. That's <laughs> the Rolls Royce. <laughs> Rolls Royce. Yes. Of what's going on? If we're gonna compare it, to, uh, but we put individual teeth, and you know I don't do the uh, third molars. Usually we do the uh, twelve teeth 
Okay, 12 times seven, we're gonna say seven. That's, yes. that's about that's 80, what, 80? That's a lot of money. You're doing that. You're doing individual We do, we do some, we, some people call, want that. Yes, they okay, want so separate teeth. Let's back this up because I, I don't, I, I think sometimes people may think that you're even untouchable or out of reach, but you literally have solutions. I do. From one missing tooth to a removable to, okay, a, after hybrid. The, a hybrid. And then if you want to go for the Mac Daddy, you can do that with yes. the individual crown. So you have this spread of solutions mm -hmm. for anyone with a dental problem that are, it's not out of reach. Think about it, Lauren, somebody like yourself. Wouldn't you want separate implants if you were totally indentulous? You are mm -hmm. people, are, you know, I'm a celebrity dentist. A lot of celebrities out there. Yeah. They have the money. They have, why yeah. not do it? If That's you're, you're worth it. You're beautiful. You're worth it. Young woman, why not? Why not? So we go from, like you say, we can come from a removable standpoint, sure. but we always go. The goal is to at least get in hybrid. Get in. as close to the best as, as possible. Best as possible. Something fixed that you don't take in and out at night. I know so many women that have dentures and their husbands don't know it. So imagine oh, if you on. have to take your teeth out mm. in private to do or... You would want a permanent solution at some point. As soon as you're able to get to the point where you can get a permanent solution that your teeth do not come out, yeah. right? That's where you want to go. And we do have finance. We have five um, lenders on our website. I was going to share that as well. So again, just kind of, you're the whole package. You've got all of these solutions. You do your best to make it affordable. They got financing options um, and people actually see you. Absolutely. They like see the, me. Yes. The work is done. Yeah. I you. love what I do. The experience is over here. Like I tell people all the time, you got to do the time. I know the chemistry behind it, the bi biology behind it. I love what I do. And we take pictures. Mm -hmm. We make sure that the shade, we do our best. We really do our best. And I, and I want to say, in my opinion, I think we want, we're, we're, we're great. I love what we do. When you're designing the smile for something like a smile makeover, mm -hmm. uh, where you're doing four, six implants, how do you design it? Are you just looking at their facial features? Are you looking at their smile line? Like, how do you draw it? Listen, you can get intricate. I have pictures where there are different designs of teeth. I usually like to pick it. However, I'll let the patient, and sometimes the patients want something not orthodox they want something different like you look at their teeth and okay you want perfect teeth mm -hmm. and they said no i want to round it here or i want a diastema here or i want the two front teeth to be a little bit we cater or a chip to or whatever you say have it your way we'll okay. actually look at it take a look at it take pictures and we actually talk to you and and that's what i i started doing initially is a try-in appointment we allow you to try oh, you your get smile my... in yes so i can kind of see it's just i guess goes over my teeth right. if i have teeth you can see what you want. i like. know what it's supposed to be but sometimes people want what they want sure. so i have to give them what they want so we do a try-in appointment we let them see it and at that point they can make any changes if they choose to I did not know that. Mm -hmm. How cool is that? Yeah. And you can see what your smile looks like before you even go to surgery. Absolutely. Day. And some people are really, really picky. So sometimes I'll let them wear that smile home, think about it, let their husband look at it, let their mama look at it, you know, and then come back for a permanent cementation. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I, I, also, I want to know for your all on four, all on X, you know, your heavenly smile in the day. Let me say all on four, can we? Oh, all on X, yeah. Right, for, right, for your right. heavenly smile in a day mm -hmm. procedure, how many implants typically are you using, or does it is it just totally based on the architecture? It, it, of the it, it depends on the patient. Sometimes, if I get a stable implant and the density is really, really good, sure. four. Sometimes I do more depending on what we need because I want to make sure I have an extra implant in case one of them does not integrate or we have a problem with the implant. So it's, it's okay. by case by case. What's your procedure if a denture maybe cracks? Do they ever crack? Yeah, or, oh, absolutely, yeah. I know yeah, the yeah. implants probably stay, but... Listen, um, <laughs> anything can crack, actually, because if you do the right things, but we actually go through what you can eat and what you cannot eat, you'd be surprised what people do with their teeth. I'm sure. Um, and this is porcelain. You know, a lot of different materials, but porcelain, you can't bite crab legs. You no. can't open a beer bottle. Why not? Eat ice. <laughs> I mean, anything that you would not do with your natural I teeth. agree. And the enamel is the hardest substance in your body. So you know that this is not as hard as enamel. You got to be... This is an investment. This is meant to look right, right? Mm -hmm. So it, you can eat whatever. 
but don't do, you know, crazy stuff. How do you clean um, a, a, a heavenly smile in a day, a um, fixed hybrid? How do you clean that? Uh, basically, we use water flossers. We okay. love the water flossers. In fact, I need to get that on my Amazon. Water flossers that we can go up under there with some warm water saline solution or sure. some Stella Life. I love that. Sure. Um, to help clean it. And you come in just routine, uh, just like your regular cleaners every six months. Unless your hygiene is very poor, then I'll say every three sure. to four months to come in. It's uh, removable. I can remove it, take it off, change the screws, that kind of stuff, and make sure that you, you know, your hygiene is good. Because, you know, a lot of people feel like because they got implants, they're good, good, good. Yeah. But you can get what you call perio implantitis, just like you can get periodontitis. Oh, the disease around the so implant. So you have to take infection. care of it. Yeah, your hygiene still has to stay apart. And, you know, I hate smokers. I don't want, I don't hate smokers, but I don't want that smoking with my implants because that's definitely a contraindication. If you're smoking and you're diabetic, I won't even do it. Under, so you, they need to be medically cleared right, in right, order to have the procedure. Right. We can you. do it if you're diabetic, but if you smoke and diabetes, the process goes down to maybe a 70 to 75 percent mm -hmm. uh, success rate. So we don't want that. And you're doing these smile transformations constantly. Like every Absolutely. time I talk to you, you're, you either got somebody in the a surgery coming up or you're prepping mm -hmm. somebody else. Um, in a month that I work, the whole month. <laughs> well, you're not a um, celebrity. We do be between 90 and 120 uh, crown and bridge work, maybe 40 implants total wow yeah in the office me, me myself so with my team you yourself because yeah, you with were my the team and i have a great team don't get me wrong i have a great team uh, i have a team that can convert the uh dentures they can um do a lot of stuff taking precious i have a great staff i have to tell you that i do have a great staff that and you're accepting help. new patients currently oh, absolutely absolutely we take new patients uh we actually do virtual consult consults as well so awesome yeah so all over the world people come from all over so we do a virtual con and give you kind of a roundabout what you need of course, I can't see everything until I have the x-rays in hand, mm -hmm. but I can pretty much tell what you need and, and give you a round about what it's, what it's going to cost you. Dr. Heavenly, you are a force. I'm trying, baby. I really work <laughs> hard. I really uh, love what I do, you know? I can tell. And this is my craft. I, I take CE credits, thousands of hours of CE credits because this is what I like doing. Oh, well, we appreciate you for your gift that you give to the, to dentistry, to your patients. And I want to encourage everybody to go to smilesbydrheavenly.com and follow her Instagram at smilesbydrheavenly or at drheavenly on Instagram. And, and check out those, those transformations and the lives that she changes on a day-to-day -day basis. Dr. Heavenly, thank you for your time and for your energy and just for what, you, what you're giving to the world. The dentistry. Well, thank you and thank you. You're doing a great job. <laughs> you, you look for this, right? <laughs> thank you. Wonderful.